We're generating transplantable hematopoietic stem cells from induced pluripotent stem cells. And that means that we're generating a transplantable blood stem cell for the treatment of leukemia, lymphomas, and blood uh, disorders uh, using patient cells derived from uh, various areas in their uh, uh, various donor cells that they can provide. The interesting aspect of this is that we are taking uh, a cell from the body and converting it into a embryonic-like state which then can be used to make the blood stem cell. The greatest challenge that we face in succeeding with this is uh, to find the factor or factors that are involved in converting or maturing the blood cells that we generate into a bona fide transplantable blood stem cell. This is important because the blood stem cell is able to um, generate all the blood lineages of a patient. So the function of this cell is extremely important to get exactly right. And so the maturation of this process uh, um, mimicking what happens during development is uh, the major challenge. One of the breakthroughs that we have in the, in the lab is uh, we can efficiently generate blood cells um, using uh, a differentiation protocol that we have developed over the last five years. This protocol is very efficient at generating blood and we have also identified uh, um, numerous cell types of very primitive state, um, including the generation of a lymphoid and myeloid lineages, which is, are two lineages that are required uh, for a uh, requirement of having a blood stem cell. Another breakthrough that we have in the lab is the discovery of a neural component to blood cell development. This is an exciting new uh, development that has occurred in the lab. Uh, that there are neural cells that are acting to stimulate uh, the blood cells that are being produced and give them different properties. We've increased the amount of primitive blood cells that we, have, uh, that we can generate using our differenti differentiation system and this is uh, 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 an area that we are spending a lot of energy focusing on expanding to understand what is happening with, this, with these neural cells uh, stimulating. Our long-term goal is to elucidate the mechanisms of maturation of hematopoietic stem cells uh, from pluripotent stem cells. And I mentioned before that pluripotent stem cells are uh, this intermediate cell state of an embryonic stem cell-like cell that is capable of differentiating to any cell type. And we're interested in differentiating them into the hematopoietic or blood lineage. If we can generate transplantable blood stem cells. We will be able to treat uh, many hematological disorders and malignancies, leukemias, lymphomas, and many of the uh, hematological disorders such as diamond black fan anemia, uh, X-linked skid, uh, other anemias, and uh, other uh, blood disorders, chronic granulomatous disease, for example. So uh, the potential is enormous um, with this technology as a new therapeutic uh, modality. Um, currently, there are 5,000 bone marrow transplants or, or blood stem cell transplants being performed in the EU per year. Uh, it's estimated that between 20 and 30% of patients do not have access to a suitable donor or cannot donate their own cells, uh, their own blood stem cells. So this means that there is a demand for an alternative source of blood stem cells and this is our goal to be able to provide this in, in, the, in the coming years. The reason why I do this re research, this line of research, is for two reasons I think. Uh, number one is the enormous therapeutic potential of the cells that we're trying to generate. Hematopoietic stem cells or blood stem cells have the ability to repopulate all the blood lineages of uh, a transplanted patient and thereby offering um, a, uh, a curative treatment for many different diseases. I've already mentioned leukemia, lymphomas, and various hematological disorders. The second reason for doing this research is curiosity. I'm exploring a cell type 
and understanding how it's generated and matured uh, in a developmental context. And this is something that has, uh, no one understands at the moment, and it's something that we, uh, as a group, uh, are working towards um, understanding what are the mechanisms of generating these hematopoietic stem cells.